cemetery behind the church. Just a few weeks later, their parents received four mysterious packages in the mail. When their parents unwrapped the packages and opened the boxes, they recoiled in horror. The boxes contained the severe heads of their dead daughters. Some people say that if you visit that old church on Halloween night, you will see the ghost of the four young girls standing on the altar. According to the legend, you can still hear their screams echoing in the darkness. To this day, the man who murdered the girls has never been found. This is another story. It's called Halloween Candy and is about a story about some kids come trick-or-treating on Halloween night. Last Halloween, I was waiting at my front door, giving out Halloween candy to trick-or-treaters all evening. Some children came alone, some were accompanied by their parents. When they held out their bags, I happily dropped the sweets and treats inside. As it grew dark, things started to die down. When it seemed like nobody was going to come, I decided to call it a night. I was just about to turn my porch light off and go to bed when there was a knock at my door. It seemed much too late for children to be out, but I grabbed a handful of candy and opened my door. There were two children standing on my porch, but they weren't wearing costumes. They were the strangest children I had ever seen in my life. Their skin was waxy and ghostly white. Their eyes were completely black. Their teeth were jacked and too big to fit in their mouths. The entire look was more disturbing than anything I had seen before. But their clothes were just plain ordinary t-shirts. was a 
she didn't protect any of the students. She could have fought off the murderer or grabbed a chair, throw the chair at the murderer, break dead, break the window, and to, to throw the kids out the window. So it's probably a one building story a school. around. 